understand that. They don't understand that we look the way we look because this is the way the Lord made us. I thought my little granddaughter come to me the other day. She said, Papa, looked at me real serious. You know? She said, when are you going to dye your hair back to tell her it was? I said, honey, I said, it will always be this color. She said, that makes you an old grandpa. And I said, that's right, it does. Amen. I'd rather be different. I'd rather be different. Amen. Thank God because I'm looking for the master. Amen. They the bride, they the bridegroom is coming, Sister Ethel. That's going to be looking for them that are chast. Amen. Those that have prepared themselves for the great coming. Amen. Those, when the ten virgins went into the house, they come in with the same lamps, the same oil, the same place. But they were different amounts in their lamps. Amen. And the Bible says that the midnight hour that the call was made. Thank God that they said that the bridegroom was coming. And they, they all got up. The Bible said they all got up and they all trimmed their lamps. Thank God that the five that were foolish said, Give us of the wise, give us of your oil. For our lamps have gone out. Amen. But you know what happened? They told us that no, said we don't have enough for us. Said you go to the man that sells it. Amen. You get you some more. You know what they was? They was ones that got caught up too much in the things going on in this life. Amen. Rather than what was going on in the Christian life. Come on now. They was raised in the same church, got the same Bible, heard the same scriptures preached. Amen. But some went down to there. They got tied up in things that did not matter. Amen. I'm telling you that all this world wants us to do is take our eyes off what matters. Amen. And begin to look around us and be like them and do like them and be like they are. Amen. And you'll find out that's what it's all about. Every Lord. I ran to the ground. I used to lay the ground.
I used to wear my jewelry. But you know what? Let me tell you why, quickly. Yeah, come on. Come on. Now, she said they don't know, they don't understand. Right. Would it be good if she could say, let me tell you why, quick? Yeah, come on. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 
down. Come on, you're just going to tell them you don't do that no more, or you're just going to say, I got saved. Come on, let me tell you why I don't do that no more. Come on now. Hallelujah, that's what's wrong with us, Arnold. We're afraid to tell people what happened to us. Amen. We're afraid to tell them what happened to us and why we're different. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God if we would get that kind of boldness about us. Amen. We wouldn't sit and hump up and cry, but we'd tell them, let me tell you why I don't do that. Amen. But you know what happens to us a lot of times? Amen. We're so double-minded. Did you hear me? Double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Amen. You can't entice me with a pair of cut-off shorts. Come on now. You can't entice me with tattoos and chains. Come on now. You can't entice me with those things. Amen. Because I've done been out there and I've done been seeing what the world's done. Amen. But you know why I changed? You know what happens to us? Amen. We want somebody else to explain it. Come on now. If you believe on the name of Jesus Christ, believe that he come to this earth and crucified and raised the third day, hallelujah, you can be saved. Come on now. That's easy, isn't it? Hallelujah. But you know what happens whenever you get saved, Mason? Thank God you become a different person. Yep. Amen. You become a new creature in who? Don't that sound good to you? Amen. That sounds good to me. Amen. I'm tired of being what the world wants us to be. I'm tired of looking like the world wants us to look. Amen. You know what they did? They found out that we wouldn't snip and flip our hair, so they come out with some new life, new, new hairstyles that we can go down and all we got to do is just trim them a little bit and it can go in the perfect little bun. Come on, God. Come on, You know why they did that since? Because they wanted the holiest woman with money. Huh? She didn't snip, flip, and, and, and color. So now she just frames a little bit puts it in the bun. Amen. Hallelujah. But how would it be good to look at our higher status and say, I don't do that no more. You know why? Because I got saved. And you know what the Bible says about my heart? It says it's given to me for my glory. Does that sound good? Amen. And if it turns gray, it'll be because the Lord put it gray. If it turns purple, it won't come out of no bottle. It'll be because the Lord turns it purple, huh? Hallelujah. Come on now. They folks will lie. They folks will lie. They'll go to their hair and say they didn't, but they got a little grease for them to put on their hair. But. Come on. Few years ago, Daddy's hair was darker than mine. Yeah. Right when mine started turning gray, I said, Dad, it's going to be a shame that people are going to look at us standing side by side, and I'm going to look over at you. Come on now. You know what Dad did? He quit putting the Grecian formula in his hand. Come on, man. We're here. We're here. That's truth or not? True. Now you see what I've got? I've got a silver haired daddy. <laughs> and I've got a silver haired John coming out of behind me. Hey, Amen. But you know what the difference is? Because I've got saved. Hallelujah. Let's stop making excuses for the world. See, this ain't nothing on you. Stop making excuses. You used to dye your hair. You used to do all them things. Quit crying over it. Tell them you don't do that no more because you don't live that way no more. Come on now. Hallelujah. Thank God if there's a man out there looking for a colored haired woman in a painted up place, he's looking the wrong direction. You're supposed to be a hope this woman. Amen. Thank God. Come on now. Quit belly aching, boys. This is where we're at. Amen. We're hopeless people. Thank God trying to live a hopeless lifestyle. Arnold, this ain't nothing new. I've been preaching this for years, ain't it? Yeah. Amen. But this is where we're at, sister. This is where we're at. The Lord wants us to be a separated people. Yeah. Amen. You know what beauty is? Come on, Word, don't care. You know why? Because I'm not singing for you no matter. I'm singing for him. 
Amen. But whenever I sing that song, there's been a change in me. I know there has. Yep. Amen. And that's what we're at today. These folks got to figure out exactly what side they're on. Amen. If you straddle the fence, you're going to be miserable. Help me, Lord. If you straddle the fence, you're going to be miserable. You know where you'll find yourself? You'll find yourself taking a little here, taking a little there. And y'all, if you start backing up, you'll be amazed at what you'll pick up before you know it. Yeah. Come on now, and I'll take you in just a moment. Amen. Yeah. God, I bored you too much. No, come on, brother. Hallelujah. It takes separated men. Thank God, holy women. Come on. Yeah. Come on now. Boys start preaching under us, and I'm telling you that boy will preach holy. Man, he'll preach holy. But every time we get out here finding a girlfriend, you know what he found, huh? Come on. He finally wanted to paint it up, covered up. So I got him over to the side, and I told him, I'm telling you. I said, if you're out looking for a woman that looks like Jezebel, I said, you can't preach on this to me. Come on now. He said, but John, I can change her. I said, well, you're going to the south end to get a hold of God's finest, mate. Eh? Come on now. I mean, what we looking for? What we looking for? Come on. If you got to wear tight jeans and tight shirts and look just the right way, you're looking for the wrong man. Come on. Help him, Lord. Come on. 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 That's what he's looking for. You don't need it. No. Come on, man. Come on, brother. I'm trying. Come on, brother. I'm not physically attracted to him. No. That's the first mistake. You put God in it, you'll be attracted to where you're supposed to be. Amen. Come on, now. Hallelujah. This is easy. Come on. This comes from out of the plan. I'm saying much. I'm just going to play and sing a little bit like Troy preach. But when I sing our cell bird cry, we've had many, 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 many conversations about this very subject. Amen. But I'm not ashamed of who I am. I'm not ashamed of what I believe. Come on. And I got a book to back me up. Amen. That's right. Come on, brother. Thank God. If you can't answer the world's questions, come and let us give you the scriptures. Amen. To tell them about it. You know why you don't paint yourself up? Who knows? Come on. Come on. Why don't you paint yourself up, brother? Huh? You know who painted themselves up? Jezebel did. Jezebel. Yep. Just trying to hide who she really was. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. She got me fighting her up. You know what she went to do? She went to be a harlot. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. So if you paint yourself up with kind of your harlot, don't get mad because that's what the book says. Yeah. Huh? Come on. Come on, Come on man. Come on. Come on. Just like us, the strange to us, is Come on. You don't say everything is real tight when somebody starts talking about this. That's all right. Come on, brother. I, mean, I don't know if there's nobody in here guilty. Nobody. And if you are guilty, you've got time to move up. Amen, because you're still alive. Amen. Hallelujah. But you know what happens? Happy you used to hold the hands of the world. We get used to doing what the world wants us to do. Amen. And after a while, we just take right up with them. We look like them. We act like them. And if you ain't real careful, you'll end up in hell like them. Yep, come on. I agree. Come on, Troy. 